Hello everyone. This is the last video of uh, the um, or lecture of the Research 2 course. Now, this video has been designed specifically for external students. That is, it does not really apply to internal students. Now, uh, in, this, uh, in this session, we'll talk about the market research report or session 14. There has been videos about a number of the sessions, all the most relevant sessions for external students. There's a number of sessions that has not been covered with videos, but that is because they are less important for, for external students. So, about session 14, the market research report. Everyone in this course needs to write a market research report, so for that reason we'll have a talk about that session. So in session 14, um, what you need um, to think about is um, what you want to include in your report. Now a typical research report will include the following headings or potentially include the following headings. You do not have to include all of these. As a matter of fact, you will probably not include all of these headings only pick the ones that are relevant to you and to the research project that you are doing. So these are all the potential headings that you could possibly put in your report, um, but chances are you will not. Now we'll have a look at a slightly more detailed um, version of the same headings. So you all need a title page. Um, it needs to look good. Market research reports cost a lot of money normally and um, you want it to look good. Uh, the next two things here are probably not relevant for you, so don't worry about those. You need a table of contents, again, make it look good. You need an executive summary. You need an introduction, and, and in the introduction, it's very important that you stress the importance of this study. Why is all the work that you have put into this report over the last semester important? How can it help your business? Explain that. Um, you need to provide a bit of background on, on your, your business, um, so explain uh, that's in a, under a separate heading right after the introduction normally. You simply provide a bit of background information about your business. When was it established? What are some of the background problems that, that have led to, to the need for research? Um, you need to identify the research problems. There was a session about just that together with research objectives. There was also a, um, a session about, um, I think there was session five, about the research design or research methodology. Now, it looks like something has happened there with the picture, but um, in this session we talked about the, the different types of research that you can do. You can do qualitative research and or you can do quantitative research. Normally, external students focus purely on qualitative uh, research, a combination of secondary research and a literature re review, a very good one, but still that would normally be the focus. Now, um, if uh, some uh, external students do more than that and also include maybe a focus group. Um, either which way, you need to explain what you did and why you did it and why it makes sense for, for your research study. Um, so that's what you do in this section. Um, you also need to uh, then uh, under a, a subheading called qualitative research list the specific techniques you used and um, your findings from the use of these techniques. Now um, Quantitative research is normally not used by external students, so we'll sort of skip through that. Um, but a very, very important section, and this is probably the most important section, or it is the most important session, section of, of your entire report, is your recommendations. In this section, you must list what your business needs to do in order to perform better based on what you found for your research. So you list that in a numbered point format. And let's say your recommendation one is about improving the website. You need to explain exactly how that website should be improved. 
um, and you should provide reasons for why that is so. So don't just make a recommendation and stop there. You need to explain the rationale behind you making that recommendation. So um, that could uh, that that rationale can be found in your in your previous research. So maybe during your secondary research, you uh, looked at some benchmarking. You looked at other companies in the same industry, and you looked at their website, and you made comparisons. And maybe you found that these other websites were a lot better. That could be part of your 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 reason for recommending upgrades to the website. Maybe for social media, you found that a lot of customers complained about the website, and if that is so, refer to that data as well. The more different types of data you can have that all points in the same direction, the stronger your recommendations will be. No one will do uh, what you recommend unless you, you can provide a reason for your recommendations. Um, if you did a focus group where you uh, showed the focus group, the website, and they had a chance to click around, and if they had some negative comments, well, refer to that evidence as well. Um, so, it's called triangulation, and it was, it was uh, discussed earlier in this course. Um, and it's basically try and get as many pieces of evidence that all points in the same directions. And, and based on that, you can make strong uh, recommendations. So, make a set of recommendations depending on, on how many things you found. And that's really how you write your research report. Sometimes you'll include a limitation section, and you'd of course always include a conclusion. Um, maybe in that conclusion, you you want to recommend that um, you have done some. Uh, you might want might want to argue you've done some good research, some good quality research, but it really ought to be supported. The 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 conclusions or the findings ought to be uh, cemented through through. Uh, quantitative research for surveys and if that's your uh, that could form part of your conclusion um, and um, while the first of course round of research was free because you did it as part of your studies um, maybe you could charge for the next one um, that's something you you might want to think about um, but yes you do need a conclusion to of course the report a set of appendices might also be a good idea so that's how you write your report. All the best.